This video shows a four-point bending test on a timber beam with the grain running parallel to the beam axis. The beam is made of softwood pine class C24. The loading diagram shows the simply supported beam subjected to four-point bending. Under this loading arrangement, the bending moment in the central part of the beam is constant. A pair of equal vertical loads is now starting to be applied to the central part of the specimen and we begin to see the beam bending under the load. This continues until the extreme fiber stresses in the tensile zone reach the failure strength of the wood and brittle fracture occurs. Now, let's slow that down and look closer at the point of failure. We can see bearing deformations accumulating under the loading heads. However, stresses continue to increase in the central part of the beam. Soon, the tensile strength of wood in the bottom fiber is reached and a fast-growing crack develops. The force displacement graph shows an initial linear elastic response. In a clear wood beam with no defects, the tensile strength is much higher than the compressive strength, so as the wood in the compressive zone begins to crush, the bending behavior becomes nonlinear. Therefore, some redistribution of stresses takes place until the ultimate tensile strength is reached at around 24 kN.